You look so happy over there, honey. <laughs> this is my lovely daughter, Justine. Hello. Oh, look, there's my view. See, beautiful horses way over there that I don't have to take care of. Ready, go. You look so happy over there, honey. <laughs> The Gay with Nails, Pam Washington, Mans Michelle. Welcome back, you guys. Okay, so here's what we learned. We learned when you broadcast from an iPad, uh, Instagram won't let you save it. Instagram won't let you share it. It's not very nice of Instagram. So uh, back to my phone, and I'm connected to the tripod that's set up for the table, so I'm sorry if it's wobbly. Um, anyway, okay. So, as all of you are joining, um, this is my lovely daughter, Justine. Hello. <laughs> and boy, people are already saying you're pretty. That's <laughs> <Thank> awesome. <you. laughs> okay, so she doesn't have as many nerves as uh, last time. So, we are going to look. Uh, I had one hand, she did the one earlier, and now I've got another to have to do the other one. So, um, anyway. Uh, so, Britt, what is the send request to be in the video? Sorry, honey, I love you, but you can't be in the video. This is all about Justine. <laughs> um, and then it also makes it so that I cannot save it. So, anyway, there we go. Um, so, Juju, what's a quick little thing about yourself before we get going? Uh, I am I'm a freelance artist. Uh, that's how I make my living. Um... That's, that's that's it. That's it. You just pretty much draw. That's all I do. <laughs> <laughs> draw, talk to her boyfriend, watch friends for the umpteenth time. So this is what she's going for. This is what we did last time, uh, two hours ago, and then you guys are going to get to watch how she does it. So super excited. Okay, except now I got to do everything opposite handed. There we go. Okay. Okay. So starting with Simply Peel, because you're going to make a big giant mess. And the thing we learned from last time is what? I don't know. She made a big old mess on the other oh. underside. So we're going to protect my fingers. You can be liberal with it so that I have less cleanup to do. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you can smear it out there. <laughs> okay. So let me... See if I can get some of the, oh. Oh man. Well, I can't see the comments. You can't? No, because I don't have my personal account linked up. Oh. And. Wait, you can't here, you can use. The same places. You can use my phone. Ooh. <clears throat> okay. So hold please while she grabs her phone. Um, okay, so what can I tell you about Justine? She is almost 21. So we're pretty excited about that to become legal. But you know what? She doesn't have her driver's license. What's up with that? <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> so, um, let's see. You've been drawing digitally since you were 12. Mm-hmm. And what else? Um, came out in the other live was that one of her other passions is furries. So would you like me to go over that again? Sure. Okay. So, um, okay. How can I describe it for people who don't understand? So, you know, when you go to Disneyland and there's all the cre creatures, characters, that um, like Mickey Mouse and um, anyway, all those characters, uh, there is a whole community, it's a ginormous community, who likes to create their own characters. And they're usually animal based. Um, are they always animal based? Yeah, always. Yeah, just are they different, always different 
animals combined or some no, will be like will just, just a tiger yeah. or yeah and so do you want me to do this part yeah or well, not that but oh i meant this. underneath yeah, yeah that's next um and so some people make their own costumes and some people commission other so you see there's another art form of being able to make a furry costume so Justine likes doing that and then lots of people love having different artists paint or draw their furry okay ready all right except I'm not in frame sorry guys um, you can hold my fingers if you need to to make it easier okay I don't know how to hold mine it's fine so did I cover it right? The... Yeah. I don't really know how to explain it to people, so... So there's like big conventions, kind of like cosplay. I think that's a little bit more mm -hmm. um, well-known. A little more mainstream, I guess. You know, like the Star Trek conventions, and this is just a different kind. Alright. So, we'll let that dry. Alright, welcome to all of you. Um, so here's what we learned. We're doing this again um, because we learned that if you broadcast from an iPad, Instagram won't let you save it. Instagram won't let you share it. So I just thanks Instagram. Um, anyway, so let's see. Um, are you having I'm having trouble, honey? Yeah. All right, she's digging in my drawer for another sponge. So Justine is gonna go after sponging, uh, hand painting, and then stamping on top of that. Okay. So you get to show everybody what you do. Okay. And this is now the second time you're painting my nails, right? Mm-hmm. And people from the last live requested that she do um, that she come back and do some other designs. So feel free to chime in you guys and let us know what you'd like her to do next time. She's actually excited about that. Woohoo! Okay. Come on. Go and behave. Um, welcome to all of you. Hey, Piercing Nails, she's back. Megan's Manicures. Um, yes, Britt, 50 Shades, 50 Shades of Color. Is she talking about fursuits? Yes. And her daughter, Sarah, has just gotten into this. So really? See, it's becoming more mainstream. <laughs> Pam says, you missed the side of the middle finger. That's okay. That's what cleanup's for, right, Pam? That's okay. I'm going over it multiple times, so... I think she meant with peel. Oh, with peel? Oops. Hmm. My bad. T-Mars, Nail C's. Um, Celia, Daniela, Danny Girl. Danny Girl was here. She says Justine is insanely good. Yeah. <laughs> Britt says Justine has all the mad skills. Damn, <laughs> I'm feeling jelly about all those art skills. And Britt asked, Britt is coming up to visit me next week. And so she asked to have Justine paint her nails. Should we do that as a live? Sure. That'd be fun. Mm -hmm. All right, Britt, do you want to decide what you're going to do on Britt? Or do you well, want her to decide? Well, if she has something specific she wants, I guess okay. if I think I can do it. Okay. <clears throat> Welcome to all of you budding nail artists. Love the name. As soon as you become a real nail artist, what are you going to, or an established nail artist, what are you going to change your name to? <laughs> Welcome to all of you guys. Anybody who's new, okay. Best alpaca, how about? Welcome back. Okay, so now Justine is using the edge of the sponge to create sort of white lines. What are these in the ocean? Part it's of the, the coral? sunlight. Oh, psh, duh. 
Good job, Anna. <laughs> Britt says, I have millions of designs. I don't <laughs> think you're going to get them on all ten fingers, honey. This is now to narrow it down. Welcome to all of you guys. If it's your first time here, I'm Anna Seidel, and I am the owner with my husband of Bliss Kiss. And... I'm also the author of close to 100 articles over at nailcarehq.com and we have a whole bunch of videos over on YouTube. Did you forget my thumb? Or are you going back? Yep, I forgot. But I'm just, I'm just going to... You're not done yet. I'm not done yet. Okay. Budding artist, I guess I'll be budding always because one can never stop learning. This is true. As an artist, do you ever stop learning, Juju? No. Yeah. In fact, she keeps trying to, like, make me throw away all of her stuff from when she was 12 and 14. And <laughs> she's like, oh, it was so terrible, Mom. I'm like, no, it was great when you were 12. Okay. Okay. Acrylic paint. Mm-hmm. All right, so she's using kind of a darkish blue and white. I'm going to mix the white and the blue. I just don't have light blue, so... Yeah. If you guys have any questions for Justine, feel free to ask. Yes. Britt says, you need to see the beginning, Juju, so that you know how far you've come. Yeah. It's always, it's a journey. Mommy Desi, she was here on the first one. She says, I'm doing my nails now too. Justine made me want to do a sea ocean theme mani. Good job. <laughs> see, look at that. Hey, Helene, Lilliams. If you guys have not seen Lilliams' account, oh my gosh, get ready to be blown away. She is L-I-L-I-U-M-Z-Z. -Z. You've got to check her out. I share her a lot, too. Um, Desi says, it's okay. I still have my art portfolio from when I was a kid, too. Welcome, Mika, Anita, Deanne, Diane, Kristen. Welcome to all of you guys appreciate you coming back because we learned that if you broadcast from an iPad, Instagram doesn't let it save. They only like phones. So we couldn't even save it to my, my iPad. Um, <laughs> you guys. Jess, welcome. Re Rebecca, welcome. Okay, so my daughter is painting my nails. And she's home from college and kind of taking a hiatus and figuring out what you want to do with your life, right? Mm-hmm. This paintbrush isn't being as nice to me this time. Did you clean it well? Yeah. Why is it not being as nice? I don't know. It's just not. Oh, well, that's rude. Mm -hmm. What? What the bazooza? So, do you have any tips for anybody on how to work on their freehand painting? Practice. <laughs> I don't know. Just if there's something you can't do, try to. You know, if you can, see how other people do it and practice yourself until you can do it. That's what I do, at least. Yeah. I'm not used to having somebody else do my nails. It's weird. It's kind of cool. So, Lisa says... Let's see, where did it go? Um, 
Yes, freehand skills. So I have a tip, and Justine was not sure about this in terms of how to be able to paint with acrylic paint better. I know it's a fly. We're stuck with it. <laughs> Um, that actually you will have more control if you use a matte top coat before you start painting. And Justine was like, no, I don't need that. It worked just fine. But what did you learn when I did it? What do you when mean? I, well, I, I, had I... You, had you do that practice one with the matte top coat. Oh, well, I mean, it definitely was nice, but I think that this specific manicure, it still worked without the matte top coat for me because the glittery sponging sort of creates a an uneven surface that the paint can grab, can onto. grab onto. Yeah. It's not glossy like a regular mm -hmm. coat of nail polish, so it it just happened to work for me. Sweet. Oh, Britt says, did you oil the brush? No, I don't think she did. So, with I, the... I just cleaned it with water. I didn't use acetone, though. Maybe doing but that. I don't know. Yeah, so you definitely want to clean your brush as well. Um, and then, if you're when you put them away, put a little bit of oil on them. And then clean out the oil with um, acetone or rubbing alcohol. And that really helps keep the hairs nice and soft. Lisa says the blue tips on them are just gorgeous. Budding nail artist, how do you clean your brushes? You can actually, if you use brushes a lot, I would go to like Michael's or an art store and there is specifically brush cleaner. Um, but usually with acrylic paint, you just need water. So for those of you who do not have, do not have the time to practice, I should say, with your freehand skills, you could do this by using a dotting tool and doing a dot of white and then doing a dot of blue on top of it. It'll look a little different, but kinda. Glamour, welcome. Faraday, welcome. Miller's Manicures, welcome to all of you guys. Oh, Helene says, but can you do the toothpick eraser trick on a matte top coat? I don't know. Because if you've done it on a shiny top coat, then you can actually use a toothpick to just scrape away your mistake. Mm -hmm. You can also, the nice thing about acrylic is that you can use water and just wipe it off. <clears throat> Lisa says, this is so therapeutic. Look at that, you're relaxing people. <laughs> Welcome to all of you new ones. Um, so Britt said that she was just blah, 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 responding to Helene. She hasn't found it, the toothpick to work, but might have a bad top coat or matte top coat. Um, Brit has, she just put two and two together. Yes, you can paint your decals with your acrylic paint on your Simply Neat manicure mat. Yep, yep, yep. So then you're not trying to do it on the curve of your nail. It also makes it so that you can have the same art on your non-dominant hand. Because there's no way I could do this left-handed. Oh, me neither. Danny Girl says, I don't have the patience to do freehand. That's why a lot of us love stamping plates. So budding nail artists using oil to clean up 
the brush no you what you're doing when you use the oil is you are um, keeping moisture um, hydration on those bristles as well it, it keeps the bristles nice just like our nails and our skin so all right we're breaking out the stamping plate now so which one are you doing I'm using these two you need more acetone on that to clean that you made a big old mess oh yeah I did <laughs> okay so she's getting simply grab our manicure cotton tool and lots of cotton with stamping you clean your stamping plate every time between stamps and that way you get a nice clean transfer every time all right that's better much better and this is for any of you who have a new plate and it doesn't seem to be behaving um, clean it with acetone uh, there's something about it when it goes through that manufacturing process that makes it so sometimes the polish doesn't work right or the stamper doesn't pick it up right you need you need a new I do need a new thing it's putting paint back onto the stamp so she's using a lint roller to clean the stamp head And that gets rid of all the dust and the fingerprints because those will make a big difference. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Okay, so Justine learned yesterday that one of the tricks is um, do not retwist your caps back on. You just plop them back in the bottle because you gotta work quickly. You've got five seconds from the scrape. I'm not good at this. To the pickup. To the pounce. But you guys, she learned to do this yesterday. So, yes, yes. But there are a lot of tips of where it can fall apart. And I've learned from so many bloggers on different tips. And Helene says Can one of the move your... yes, sorry. One of the big tips is to not press down very hard, which is why a lot of people roll it so that you have less pressure. Um, because if you push down too much, it really smushes and squishes the the pattern, and sometimes it won't even pick it up. So you guys, if you have any questions for me, just Pop them in there and I will answer. Um. Oh, Dizzy just posted her nails. Okay, tag me on it. I can't, I want to see. Danny, you have a stamper but no stamping plates. That makes it kind of hard to stamp, honey. There's some really good brands out there. Um, you want ones that have nice deep etching and have a reputation for stamping well. Um, let's see, there's Leslie Plates, Bundle Monster, Cheeky. Um, I know I'm forgetting a whole bunch of them. Messy Mansion. Um, who else? Delush. Uh, you guys can chime in here, really good stamping plate companies. Lena, Bunny Nails. The, the thing is, you really want ones from good quality companies, not some of the inexpensive ones from China. I've gotten some samples, like when I, I tested like 15 different stampers, because I wanted a stamper that worked well with our manicure mat, and not all of them do. And, um... So they would send me free samples of their stamping plates and they were so detailed and so shallowly etched that um, I couldn't pick up a darn thing. So sometimes it's the plate and it's not you. Okay. Um... 
Does putting a bit of oil on the brush before freehand art make it? You're out of frame. Make it work better. Well, then you then you then you'd get oil mixed in paint. I don't no. think that would work. Um. Yeah. So Jackie makes a very good point. Don't use any acetone or polish remover that has anything in it, vitamin A, or vitamins, whatever, all the stuff they put in it. Don't use those for cleansing your nail plate before you do a manicure. Don't use them for cleansing your stamping plates because you're leaving that film of oil on the plate or your nails. And stuff doesn't work with oil. Oil is good for your skin and your naked nails. Okay. So yeah, I have actually, um, Jackie, I have three different pump bottles. Um, one is for acetone, pure acetone. One is for my acetone that has Simply Soft additive in it, which is amazing, you guys. Totally amazing. Um, it makes it so that my skin isn't white and chalky. And it smells just like I put um, crisp on. And it feels like that too. It's pretty awesome. So I have... And then the other one has um, my rubbing alcohol in it. Because I like to cleanse my nail plate before manicure with rubbing alcohol. Okay. Oh, Karen says clear jelly stamper. It has good plates. <sighs> Desi says Justine's ocean is way better. Desi, I'm sure you did a fine job. Lisa says I got stamping plates and a stamper for the first time. Need your time. hand. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Last month. And I won't pick up the design, so I gave up. I'm good with my toothpicks and brush. Lisa, I bet you there's something in there that you're forgetting. And the best one is to practice with paper and count, literally, 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005. And you have to get from the scrape and pick up to the pounce on the nail plate. You've got, you've got to get it done in that amount of time. So... Practice on paper, and I find that a lot of people, it solves most of their problems. And sometimes also, somebody made a comment, who was it? Karen says, sometimes it's the stamp or the polish, and that is very true. You don't want to use polishes that are thin or have um, shimmers in them. It's you got to get good before you can start stamping with something that's got holographic or shimmers or anything like that. So you really want to stick with the creams. And Justine is using the Sally Hansen Insta Dry line. I love that line. It stamps so well, but when my nails are longer, I can't polish with them because it dries so fast. So it's, it's really great for people with shorter nails because you can paint your nails really quickly and it dries quickly. Um... Is our stamper oily? No, you don't want it oily. And when your stamper gets kind of dusty and the lint roller isn't working enough, you want to just um, rinse it in water and a little bit of soap and then let it dry. And remember, fingertips are, fingerprints are a problem. We see people as bloggers do this all the time and they stick their finger on it to show you how squishy it is, but then it won't pick up a stamp. Did you forget something? I got, no, I got red in the top and I don't want it there. Did you make a mistake? I did. You could have gone with it. No. No. Um, so, Lisa, clean it with soap and water. And some people say, oh, you should use, you know, you should rough up the surface with a uh, nail file. Don't do that. 
that may have worked with some of the older stamps way back in the day when it first started, but I did it again. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. Whatever. <laughs> you have me in frame. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah, Lisa, your stamper came in super slippery and oily, and I'll tell you what that is. That is the um, the silicone lubricant that um, is used in the manufacturing process. Don't worry about that. You can get a new cotton ball. Oh, I... you're you're allowed to use <laughs> cotton balls. I'm just trying to get the get as much use as I can out of this one. It's okay. <laughs> so just wash it with soap and water. And you'll be fine. Okay. Alright, well. Oh, Jackie says I have the different pump bottles as well. Waiting for the Bliss Kiss Pumper Dumpers. We are working on that. So Corey, my husband, calls them Pumper Dumpers when he does his live at the top of every month. When he paints my nails. Those are always hysterically funny. Are we done? Yeah. I didn't do your thumb. I so I guess thumb. I'll... You get to do some more. Yeah. Um, so yes, we are working on getting Bliss Kiss pump bottles for you guys. Pam, I want to see a Bliss Kiss cuticle pusher. It's in the works, honey. It's on its way. Lisa says she'll practice on paper. You'll be amazed. Um, budding nail artist, I use foil glue if you take time or do reverse stamping and works wonders. I've learned it from a live from Bundle Monster. That's awesome. Yeah, some people when they're putting the decals on their nails, they, different people like different things. Some people like top coat, um, oh, I think it was Helene too that had the suggestion of Use, when you're making decals on your manicure mat, um, use a regular clear polish, not a quick dry top coat. So, um, it behaves better and it peels off the mat better. Um, Karen says, add Sharpie to the plate, then polish will be quicker. The polish will be quick. Quick. And you'll love the outcome. I have seen Sharpie stamping and that is so awesome. I would imagine your Sharpies won't last very long because that felt tip will get all chewed up. But they sure look cool. Um, budding nail artist, what do you do if a stamper is getting yellow? That's just the, the silicone, especially the clear ones. They have a tendency to... Um, to turn yellow and it's because the if you put a UV um, protectant thing in the silicone then it would no longer be clear so um, but we sell refill you know refill stamp heads because they do die these really squishy ones they do they tear they chip they they just get tired they're a lot more fragile than than other ones um, Pam, you're not supposed to use acetone on stamp heads, should you? No, do not. Do, 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 do not. Um, you want to um, use just soap and water and then let it air dry. Um, Beth, did you did we say did I say something about finding different ways to post to international people um, for shipping? Would it be so it would be cheaper, or did I dream that? No, you didn't dream it. I know we're still working on that. I'm not sure if it's actually been implemented. So it may have. What you got to do is just go to put something in your shopping cart. And then add your postal code and see if the shipping ends up being less than what it was when you've done it in the past. 
And the reason I have to say that, you guys, is because um, the shipping charge is directly what United States Postal Service charges. We don't charge any handling fees. And um, so, where was I going with that? Um, so, oh, so that your order is based on the weight and the measurement. So that's why we can't tell you how much um, shipping will be because there's so many different factors. Oh, Helene gets in there. Yes, it was her idea, her, her suggestion. The quick dry top coats dry very stiff and the decal won't form nicely to the nails. So what she's saying is when you use a regular drying top coat, um, it's more flexible and it goes to your, the curve of your nail better. Okay. Oh, Corey says international post is being cheaper is still not implemented yet. It's not simple. Everything that we do is complicated. It's funny because people are like, oh, you should just add this. And I have to tell you guys, just to add a product is a huge process. Your frame. I'm all just, I I'm all just. All I see is your hand. Mm -hmm. Sorry, guys. Can you turn it? It's too shiny. I can't. Okay. Ooh, Dot, Fierce Fat Firefly says supposedly wet and wild clear protector is supposedly the best for decaling. Ooh, do I have that? Wet and wild. I have a wet and wild. This is the one. Oh, that's a fast dry. I'll have to go dig through my stuff. Britt says, I don't think people will ever understand how much quality testing you do so that you never, never put out a lackluster product. Yep, she is 100% right. You guys, I mean, like just our nail files, when we got the case, because I had been looking for a case for a long time, um, but a lot of them are metal and it's like, yeah, they look nice, but files would break in them because they're glass. And so when we found the plastic ones, we just like, oh, sorry, Is that in the right place? Mm -hmm. um, we chucked it across the warehouse. We did all kinds of tests to make sure that it wasn't gonna fall apart. Good? Mm -hmm. Good. Helene says, clear by Wet n' Wild or Sally Hansen is so inexpensive and works great also. Helene, you have such great tips. Love, love, love. What? What'd you lose? More cotton balls? Yeah. Man, you guys, I get to clean up her mess. She's got polish bottles and paint and stuff everywhere. That's okay. This has been this has been super fun. I mean, I can clean up the mess if you want me to. No, it's okay. Mm, let's see. Anybody well, if any of you have questions for Justine, um, what are some of the thing, the other things we talked about on the last one? You don't remember. You're just trying to focus. Yeah. So what do you find funny about Daddy? Uh, I don't know. He makes a lot of dad jokes and they're funny. <laughs> a lot of you know he does a dad joke every Saturday. Those are funny. Um, Jackie says, what plate are you using? It doesn't even, oh, it's plate D. And I think these are really, really old That's by neat. Cheeky, I think. I'm not even positive. They don't even have any branding on them. That was way, way back at the beginning. 
but these plates were really nice because they were big enough for my longer fingernails and my nails were longer. Oh, you made a fine mess. I did make a fine mess. Okay, you wanna take off all the Simply Peel? Thank you. It's the best part. Oh! Simply Peel, like no big deal. Um, oh, Kirsten says, yay for dad jokes. Um, Juliet, how much are the mats? They are $9.99, I think. But don't hold me to it, but go look at myblisskiss.com and you can find it there. Um, you should know your prices. Goodness, girl, do you know how many different things we have? No, not really. Yeah, well, it's a big old store. Um, and then we go and do a 3% price increase for the cost of inflation and things. And oh, yeah. then, you know, oh, now it's 26 cents more. And I'm going, I, got that. Oh, I yeah. didn't do peel on the underside of this one. Oops. That's what acetone's for. Yeah, you can do that. <laughs> um... So I'm not sure, Britt, next week's live nails, so Justine's gonna, Justine's gonna do your nails, I mean Britt's nails, and we're gonna talk to Britt. Okay. Oh. Cool. Alright. Well there done. You have it. You gonna try for top coat? No. No? I did try and I failed. <laughs> But you didn't use the other hand. I gave, I really, really, there's a this different one? top coat. I'm scared, dude. Well, I can't photograph this hand, so you're fine. Okay. Alright, so. Big blob of it, remember. And you hold the brush horizontal, and you just float. Try not to get the brush to touch the art. And the reason for that is because you guys, Think about it, you're taking wet polish and you're putting it on very, very thin layer of polish and you're stamping and stuff, and it's gonna re-wet it. So of course the brush is gonna smear it. Woo, see, you're doing good. Yeah, I think that the fast dry one was like not... That is a fast dry, it's what? just a different brand. Well, that one didn't do nice for me, Yeah, wet and wild fast dry was n not a good idea for this design. There you go. Look at all that cleanup you're giving me. Thank you very much. Yeah, I'm messy. <laughs> That's why you don't do your nails very much, right? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay, so we are almost done. Budding Nail Artist says she wants to know. She, he, I don't I never know. Sorry, you guys, if I mix up your pronouns. Um... Uh, what inspired you to do this manicure, Justine? Well, um, I don't know if, I don't know when, was, was that one you did where you were trying to do fire, was that on a live? No. No? Uh, it was just well, me playing. Yeah, so my mom was like playing around with stamping these, these two. I think that other mat has it on it still, Oh yeah, I it? think so. My messy mat. See, for lives we do the, the pretty mat. So here was my mess. Yeah, but so I saw this practice trying to make fire. Mm -hmm. I think that's what you were doing, right? Yeah. Yeah. And I would I I looked at that and I I thought it looked like coral and it actually it reminded me of a piece of art I did that was basically a big version of this mm -hmm. when I was like 16 and so I was like hmm that'd be fun to do on a live mm-hmm so yeah so she's like mom can I paint your nails <laughs> I'm like, okay sure um Dot asks how do you <clears throat> store your stamping plates you want to pull some of those out so like these little books yeah. So there's different sizes. Lots of the stamping companies have their own little stamping books. 
Um, I just store them like that. There's a good team yeah. one. Some of these are... Some are pretty big. Yeah. Your thing is zoomed in. I can't... It doesn't show the whole thing, but... It's there. Dad joke. Did you hear about the restaurant on the moon? Oh, I'm afraid. Do you know what it is? Do you know what the answer? No. Jackie said it was out of this world. <laughs> oh, Corey says, great food, no atmosphere. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Pam, how are the new mats different from the old mats? Okay, well, you want to show the... We oh, is that do. the old mat? That's the old mat. Okay. So, it's messy, you guys, but a lot of people ask for more white white space. Oh, what? shit. These are open. <gasps> swear jar. Sorry. Corey, swear jar. Well, I don't have coins on me. It's okay. Um, a lot of people ask for more white space. Pull out. Um, so, you want to flip that around? So the old one had less white space. Can we see from there? Yeah. yeah. Here I can. You want to just hold it? Yeah. So the grids are still the same. Still have the create and contain circles and the edges. Um, some people said, I like the instructions, but do they need to take up this much space? So, um, and plus I wanted a little bit more of our branding there. So there went the little hearts. Um, a lot of people, since they wanted more white space and they really weren't using the decals as much as I had hoped, um, I'm going to do more videos explaining how these work. Because basically you put your finger there and then you know how much of the space you need to make your decal. So you're not making this big ginormous decal for a teeny little finger. Um, so less of the decal areas and then um, more white space for you to play on. And then there's the... The black and white to test your polishes um, I think that's it so I you know I paid a lot of money to get the mold for this that's so these create and contain circles people can have done water marbling in them um, and you make decals water marble decals and then they're great for containing all those little little caviar beads the little glass beads and the super expensive rhinestones and so and then also this edge um, I've poured a half or a quarter cup of acetone on this mat and it did not go off onto my table. So um, that's kind of the difference. So messy old one, <laughs> less messy new one. And they clean up great. Um, a lot of silicone mats do stain um, and the very best way to do this, you know, some, some polishes just stain them. And so the best way to do is take a little bit of uh, gel bleach, let that sit on there for a few hours to overnight, and your stain will be gone. So pretty nice. All right, let's zoom back in and show people what you did. Juliet, do you make dog nail polish? I don't make any nail polish. Um, that is not my strength. Uh, Corey liked the fire and ice theme. That's what he thinks it is. Fire and ice. Good job, Dad. Mommy Desi says, I totally vote for fire and ice cream. I bet you that's a typo. But <laughs> you guys are so funny. Pam, any chance of a base coat and a top coat again? At this point, no. Um, especially because we can only ship them domestically. We can't ship legally. We can't ship them internationally. Um, so... And I, I tried replicating. So what happened, you guys, was I had an amazing base coat and top coat. Um, and the company that carried them, my vendor, uh, just after 38 years decided, well, we'll just close. And that was it. Like, no warning, nothing. I just went to the website to reorder. And they were like, thanks for 38 years of business. So I was like, well, okay. I worked with some manufacturers. And I was just like... They got close, but they didn't get it right. And so with all of the obstacles in terms of shipping globally, I just was like, uh, it's going on the way, way, way back burner. Dot says she used the decal spaces for the first time today and loves them. 
Yay! All right, you guys. Um, well, this has been fun with Justine, and I hope you guys learned a bunch, and we will see you next week, and hopefully this saves. <laughs> I will be so happy if it saves, and then it's going up on YouTube. So thank you for all the little hearts, you guys. Thanks for sticking around, and um, we will see you next week. Bye. Hey, everyone. To share with friends, click below. Subscribe now to stay in the know. Kindly comment here, what will you say? And remember you're awesome and have a blissful day.